So here we're going to look at another example for combining random variables. And we're looking at M&Ms. The package of M&Ms has a mean of 54.58. And that's the mean number of pieces in a bag with a standard deviation of 1.32 pieces. Um, each piece costs 0 0.2 cents sorry, two cents, and it makes, they need an additional three cents to make the bag, or for the bag. So I want to know what is the mean cost and standard deviation for the cost of a bag of MMs. So here, I want to know the standard, or the mean of the cost. So that's going to be two cents times the mean number of pieces plus three cents for the bag. And thinking to the formula that we've been given, or that we know, let me back up here. When I'm times in by something, oh, keep going, next one. When I'm times in by something and adding a constant, I just times to the expected value, add the constant, and for my variance I need to square my multiplier, and I don't need my constant anymore. So, the mean cost will be equal to 0 0.02 times the mean number of pieces, which is 54.58, plus the 3 cents that they need for making the bag. That's a total of $1.12 on average cost on average per bag of M and M's. My variance for the cost is going to be equal to 0 0.02 times the variance of the number of pieces plus the 0 0.03 and in a sense you could probably just ignore what I've written there and go straight to the formula which is 0 0.02 squared times the variance of the number of pieces and we can drop that constant because we don't need it so 0 0.02 squared times the variance remember the variance is just the standard deviation squared So I'm just going to write that as 1.32 squared, that's the standard deviation squared as my variance. And to get back to the standard deviation, I'm going to end up square rooting that in the end anyways. So I might just do this all in one step. The standard deviation will be equal to the square root of the variance, which will be equal to 0 0.2 squared times 1.32 squared. And that turns out to be 0 0.026 pieces. Oops, sorry, it's not pieces. This is since the variance for the cost. And we want to round reasonably because this is money, so we would say, or about 0 0.03 cents um, per bag. And again, that's because the number of M&Ms in each bag is going to be slightly different, and if you have to pay for each M&M they make, that's where the variation of the cost of each bag comes into it. So in this case, again, just to remind you here, we were changing units. I went from pieces to cost. So we used the formula straight as they were in the book. And this problem here, 
Let's carry on with that. A package of MNIMS has that mean, 500, sorry, 458, per bag with a standard deviation of 1.32. Susan has a large jar she, jar she fills with four bags of MNIMS. What is the mean and standard deviation of the number of MNIMS she has in her jar? Should be MNIMS. Okay, so here she's going for a situation where she's got four different bags. So, so this is the situation where we're trying to figure out um, the number of M and M's, and so we're not changing units. This is pieces, and we're going to more pieces. So it's staying the same. So here I've got bag 1 plus bag 2 plus bag 3 plus bag 4 and the mean number of pieces in each of those bags should be the same. So that's basically saying that if we want to know the expected number in the jar, that's going to be the four bags all added up. So that just becomes 4 times the 54.58, which is equal to 21, sorry, 218.3. Which, if we round, would be approximately 218 pieces in the jar. And for our variance, remember this is a situation where we need to not use the formula, so we don't use the a squared. The variance in the jar is going to be equal to 4 times the variance of one bag. So that's 4 times the variance of one bag, remember that's still just the standard deviation squared, so 4 times 1.32 squared, and to get back to the standard deviation we'll end up taking the square root of that as well, so if we go ahead and do that all in one step, the square root of the variance of the combined random distribution will get us to the standard deviation, 2.64, or if we round, about two or three pieces. And that's again the standard deviation for the number of pieces in the jar. So here I've got more of the same thing. I'm counting four bags in a row, so I just add everything up. So I'm just going to times by four in both cases. I'm not using the squared here because I'm not changing units. Versus in the previous situation, I was going from pieces to cost. So I'm using the formula and I'm squaring the variance. 